Hello everyone! Welcome to the channel ESL Games and Teaching Tips with Jenny White. I'm so happy to see you back. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe, say hello in the comments and tell us where you are from. In less than five minutes, we are going to create a wonderful online flashcard game and learn how to use it for three different teaching aims for presenting and practicing vocabulary, for storytelling, and even for grammar practice. Now let's have a look at the game. I created this matching game in five minutes to demonstrate how it works. Let's play! In this game there is a train with carriages marked by different words and there are pictures flying in balloons. The task is to click on the right picture at the right moment so that it falls into the corresponding carriage. You can choose in the settings how many levels you want in your game. So the train, oh sorry, the train will move faster and faster and there will be more and more pictures. Starfish, starfish, ta-da, okay, bear, yeah, level two complete. There are five levels in my game. I think it's okay. So now you understand how it works. Now we can see the results. You can enter your name. Your students can enter their names on the leaderboard. Number one is Hank, Eva, Tom. You will see here the names of all your students who took part in the game. If they don't like the result, they can start a game the platform which can help you make similar games. It is called Word Wall. And now together we will make another game. So this is my account, Jenny White 555 ESL. Let's go to my activities. What I've just played is Find the Match, but there are also other types of games, random cards, open the box, group sort, random wheel and many others. I will tell you how to use them a little bit later, after we create our new game. This is the game that we've just played. Animals game. Let's edit content. It's very easy. You can see pictures on the left and words on the right. So you can change any picture like this, remove, and then look for another one. Now let's imagine your topic is adventure. Then let's look for something like hmm, huge waves, huge waves. So you can choose how big you want your picture, let it be medium. Okay, medium, huge waves. I like this one, huge waves. And change the word here, huge waves. Then change the second picture. Uh, I'm changing it and you will just do everything for the first time. But it's the same actually. Just search for an image. I changed all the pictures and the words. Now we've got thunder and lightning, shipwreck, uninhabited island, make fire, build a raft, put a tent and climb the rocks. What's next? Just click on the done button and here we are. Our new game is ready and you can share it with your students now or play it in class. Share my students set as an assignment. So let's add leaderboard, enter name, results. And this is the link you can share with your students. Done. Now the game is ready. Woohoo! Stay with us to learn how it can be used for three different teaching aims for presenting and practicing vocabulary, for storytelling, and even for grammar practice. If you like it, don't forget to like the video as well and subscribe if you are new here. Well, as you see on the right, there are different templates that you can use. The game that we played was made with the help of this template, Balloon Pop, but there are other templates as well. For presenting and practicing vocabulary, I prefer Random Cards template. To use it, we need to make some changes. So, edit content. 
and all you have to do is to add pictures to the words on the right. For example, huge waves, this one, thunder and lightning, okay, let it be this one, shipwreck, and climb the rocks. Now everything is ready. Click on the Done button. And now we can play the random cards game. It's actually not a game, it's an activity to present and practice vocabulary. So here you can see different themes, different options that you can change and choose. So let's start. I recommend using primary. It looks nice. Cards on the left face down, we can't see them. So we can show the flashcards, make your students repeat after you, thunder and lightning, and they repeat together after your uninhabited island, etc. So first you practice like this, again and again, then you can ask them to read the words on the flashcards. Uh, to make it more difficult, you can edit the content again, Use the Swap Columns button, button. In this case, they will see only the pictures. Done. Let's play it again. So they see only the picture, and they should name what they see. Climb the rocks, put a tent, etc. To revise spelling, you can use anagrams So what's this? Put the letters in order. Huge waves. You can also use random cards for storytelling. You can divide your students into two groups. One group can produce one sentence at a time, or they can continue the story one by one. So one day there was a terrible storm. But two children decided to go for a walk. They built a raft and so on, so blah blah blah. You can use um, a random wheel template. Random wheel, for example, for practicing passive voice in past simple. Spin the wheel. You can play the game full screen. For example, this one, build a raft. In past simple, passive voice. The raft was built by my friends. Many people were scared by huge waves. If you want to know more about engaging activities for kindergarten and primary school kids, then check the link in the description box. You can find my books. Well, that's all for today. I hope you like the game. I hope now you feel more confident with teaching online. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share. And see you soon on the channel ESL Games and Teaching Tips with Jenny White. Love you.